Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the Commanding General, the officers, and drill instructors of 1st Crew Training Battalion, I would like to welcome you to the graduation ceremony of Company B. This morning's ceremony will begin with calling the company to attention. At this time, the guests are requested to remain seated. Spiritual development plays an important part in the making of a United States Marine. Lieutenant Amy Ruth Bryan, Chaplain Corps, United States Navy, will deliver the graduation prayer. This will be followed by our national anthem. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise. Ladies and gentlemen, our national anthem. Thank you. Please be seated. Throughout our nation's history, millions of men and women have earned the title United States Marine. Men who have helped shape our history join us here today. In keeping with the tradition of once a Marine, always a Marine, we would like to recognize them. At this time, those in the audience who have served as Marines, please rise. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause. Thank you. Please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, the battalion commander for first crew training battalion, Lieutenant Colonel Gregory A. Grayson. I'd also like to 
extend a special welcome to today's parade of new official, Sergeant Major Lucia, who's joining us for the 12th Marine Corps Recruiting District. Sergeant Major, it's a pleasure to have you. Welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, the purpose of today's ceremony is to recognize these new Marines and everything they've accomplished. Their journey began 13 long weeks ago when they stepped on the yellow footprints and committed to become the Marines. They arrived as individuals, perhaps a little unsure of their decision, but stand before you a competent team of smartly disciplined Marines. During the past few months, we developed a physical and mental Congratulations, it's a 
classes on your mind now. You're probably thinking, what have I gotten myself into? How do I get these guys to stop helping? Well, you have a lot to learn. It's a very steep hill to climb. But you did it. You have rightly earned the title Marie. Be proud of your accomplishment and the uniform you now wear. And finally, as I remember from your first day of training, whether you serve for four years or 24 years, remember, it's not about you. It's about all those Marines who have gone before you, whose legacy you are now a part of. It's about that Marine seated to your left and to your right. It's about all these people in the stands in this great nation which you sworn to defend. So, serve with honor, serve with courage, serve with commitment, and you'll do well. Congratulations again, Marines, on your tremendous achievement. Please take care of one another and remain sensible to us. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce to you America's newest United States Marines. Now taking his position center stage is today's guest of honor. Sergeant Major Carlos M. Murcia, Sergeant Major, 12th Marine Corps District. <laughs> Sergeant Major Carlos M. Murcia, Sergeant Major of 12th Marine Corps District. Sergeant Major Murcia enlisted in the United States Marine Corps in June 1992 and graduated from Bravo Company, 1st Recruit Training Battalion, San Diego, California on 28 August 1992. Upon completing recruit training at School of Infantry in Camp Pendleton, California, he received the Military Occupational Specialty of 0351 Infantry Assaultman and was meritoriously promoted to Lance Corporal. Sergeant Major Murcia has served in a variety of challenging billets in numerous commands to include serving as an assistant team leader, team leader, and chief scout sniper for the Surveillance and Target Acquisition Platoon Headquarters and Service Company, Assault Section Leader, Machine Gun Section Leader, and Weapons Platoon Sergeant for Company F, 2nd Battalion, 8th Marines, 2nd Marine Division, and the 26th Marine Expeditionary Unit, Drill Instructor, Senior Drill Instructor, and Series Chief Drill Instructor for Company G, 2nd Recruit Training Battalion, Company Gunnery Sergeant for Company K, 3rd Battalion, 1st Marines, and the 13th Marine Expeditionary Unit, Operation Iraqi Freedom. Range Company 1st Sergeant of Edson Range, Weapons and Field Training Battalion. Battalion Sergeant Major of Combat Logistics Battalion 15, Headquarters Regiment, 1st Marine Logistics Group. Sergeant Major of Recruiting Station, San Diego, California. And Regimental Inspector Instructor Sergeant Major of 23rd Marine Regiment, 4th Marine Division. Sergeant Major Murcia currently serves as the Sergeant Major for the 12th Marine Corps District. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Sergeant Major Murcia. The next portion of the ceremony will be the traditional function of retiring the guide arms. The guidons have been carried by the platoons throughout recruit training and are being retired to symbolize the disbanding of platoons. All similar units in the Marine Corps carry such guidons, which identify the unit and are a source of pride to each individual member. Note that the honor of carrying these guidons is bestowed upon those Marines who display outstanding leadership qualities, motivation, and enthusiasm, and were selected as the platoon honor graduates.
honor graduates are recognized as being the most outstanding Marines in their platoons. The platoon honor graduates compete for the titles of series and company honor graduate. They are considered the top Marines graduating today and have demonstrated the highest potential for future leadership and responsibility in the Marine Corps. Ladies and gentlemen, please hold your applause until all honor graduates have been recognized. The honor graduate for platoon 1029 is Private First Class Fritz J. Shamkul from San Mateo, California. The honor graduate for platoon 1030 is Private First Class Joseph A. Capola from Orlando, Florida. The honor graduate for platoon 1031 and the company honor graduate is Lance Corporal Max F. Raleigh IV from Santa Clara, California. Lance Corporal Raleigh is also the recipient of the Chesty Puller Award for his outstanding meritorious performance while in recruit training. Ladies and gentlemen, the honor graduates of Company B. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the playing of Anchors Away, followed by the Marines hymn. The next portion of the ceremony, the senior drill instructors will dismiss their platoons. This will be the last command the new Marines receive from their drill instructors, and probably the most welcome command they have received throughout recruit training. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes today's ceremony. Oh!